everyone. Welcome back to Little Fishes at Home. Have you had a good week? It was great to see Jacob and Charlie last week on our pictures on Facebook. So a big hello to you boys. We know a couple of things are going to be happening this week. Firstly, we know that some of our bigger little fishes will be going back to school. So we just wanted to let you know that we'll be thinking and praying for you all. Secondly, do you know what special day it is on Sunday, Maisie? Yes, it's Mother's Day. That's right, everyone. It's Mother's Day. So we have a special craft that we're going to show you how to make to say a big thank you to our mummies or our grannies or our nannies or anyone else who helps to look after us. We hope you enjoy today's Little Fishes. Hi everyone, today our story is called Through the Roof. So our story is set in a house, just like this one that we've got here. Can you see there's lots and lots of people and not much room? Everybody's really squished together. Maisie, can you squish all of our sheep together to show how squished everybody was inside? Brilliant. So, lots of people in the house were listening to Jesus. Can you listen to Jesus? Can you cup your hand over your ear and listen? So, one man wanted to get to Jesus, but he couldn't walk. So four of his friends, so we've got one, two, three, four, friends carried him. Can you pick up something heavy? Can you pretend? Oh, I'm not sure I could help pick up a man. I think they're really heavy, aren't they? But they couldn't get into the house because it was so full. So do you know what they did? They brought him onto the roof, on here, and... They dug a hole. So can you pretend to dig? Can you get your spade out and do some digging? Brilliant digging, Maisie. Then they lowered their friend through the hole in the roof to see Jesus. Now Jesus saw the man and smiled and he forgave all the bad things the man had done and healed him so he could walk. Can you do walking with your fingers? Brilliant, Maisie. Can you all do that too? So Jesus not only healed the man's legs, can you do some more walky fingers? So he could walk again, but also he healed his heart. Can you make a heart with your fingers? Well done for listening so beautifully. <laughs> So the craft this week, can you remember what day it is on Sunday this week? It's a special day, isn't it? It's Mother's Day. And all mummies or nanas or grandmas or aunties or people that look after us love a flower. I think they do. So we go, ooh, so we're going to make a flower. So we found some bags at home that we haven't used for a long time. So we're going to use those for our flowers. But you can use anything, some, some just plain paper. And you can just colour it in and make it look really pretty. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to draw our flower shape. So I'm going to try and draw mine upside down so you can see. So we're going to draw, it will be a bit like the tulips next to me, I hope. So we're going to do it round and then do some zigzags at the top. So I'll hold mine up. Amazing, you'll hold hers up when she's done. So that's my one. That's a good one, Maisie. Fabulous. All right, you all done? Do you want to show me one? So Maisie's made her flower like a tulip too, and then we're going to cut round the outside. There we go. So if you haven't got coloured paper, you can just colour it in with like some stripey bits or spotty bits or whatever you'd like to do on yours to make it look pretty. All right, 
So the next bit is the tricky bit. So you might need your grown up to help you a little bit. So we're going to fold your flower in half like this. So if I show you that, so we're gonna fold it in half like that. Can you do yours, Daisy? So fold it in half. Have you done both bits? And then we're gonna fold it half with the bit that you folded in half already. So I'll show you. So you fold it in half and then fold this bit in half, just like that. Now, if you've got a hole punch at home, which we have, you can use that to make a little hole just here in the middle. Or if you haven't, you could just get a grown up to use a pencil and just make a hole through there. Okay. Have you done can you do mine? Yeah, of course. This bit's a bit tricky. We haven't always got it right, have we, Maisie? No. <laughs> we might not get it right now. There we go. So it just makes a hole. Just, well, it's not quite in the middle, is it? Doesn't matter. Mm. <laughs> so there's my hole, just there. Okay, so the next bit. So we had some straws at home that we haven't used for a long time. But we, you could use a stick or anything that you can find, maybe something you found out on a walk or something, anything will do. So then you put your, we've got our straws, so we're going to put them through the holes. And that is our flower. Ah, that's yours going, amazing. I can't put that one through. Oh, Just take your ah. <laughs> hold, it, hold it back up. Ah. If you fold it back up, you can put it through all the holes together. <laughs> That's it. And then you can straighten them out. That's it. Perfect. So then you've got your flower. And then you just need another piece of paper. So again, if you haven't got green paper at home, it doesn't matter. You can just use any colour paper and colour it in and make it all look pretty. So we're going to cut out some leaves. Maisie's already cut out her leaves. So I will draw some leaves. No, you cut my leaves. Just so that you can see. <laughs> so there's some leaf shapes but they really don't have to be perfect like that they just have to be nicely made by you so it doesn't matter if they're exactly like this you can do whatever you want to all right so we've got some cut out already so Maisie's got some glue she's going to stick hers on with and I have already cheated and cut some sellotape off so I'm going to stick mine with sellotape and Maisie is going to stick hers with glue <laughs> see, see which one's better. <laughs> okay, so there's our flowers. So another thing you could do is write name, like you could write the person's name on here that you were sending it to, or you could just colour it in and make it look really pretty, whatever you'd like to do. Okay, we hope you enjoy this and don't forget to share any pictures that you've made with it too. Have a lovely Mother's Day everybody. <laughs> And now we're going to have a singing time. I wonder how many of our songs you can remember. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Sarah, what do you think we should start with? I think we should start with Wind the Bobbin Up because oh. I think that's one of our favourites. It is, isn't it? Great one. Brilliant. <laughs> Are you all ready? Ready to wind your bobbin up? Okay. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands up on your knees. Should we do it again? I think that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands up on your knees. Well done. That was really good. 
Right, I think we should get our marching shoes on now, don't you? You're right. This idea. is one of your favourites. We haven't got Dorothy to, to race, but we'll do it twice and the second time we'll go really fast with the Grand Old Duke of York. Yeah? Brilliant. <laughs> Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Really fast, ready? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Woo! Oh, I'm tired after that one. Well, I think it's probably time for a little bit of a quieter song. Can anybody remember this song? What actions go with this song? Maisie, do you know? What song? It's Twinkle Twinkle. Right, let's get your twinkly fingers out. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Twinkle, twinkle, chocolate bar, my dad drives a rusty car. Pull the lever, push the choke, off we go with a puff of smoke. Twinkle, twinkle, chocolate bar, my dad drives a rusty car. Brilliant. Well done. Thanks, Maisie. <laughs> she gave us that extra bit of actions there with a the chocolate bar. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Right. I think we should do the wheels on the bus. One of our favourites. We're going to do the wheels. We're going to do wipers. We're going to do the horn. And we're going to do babies on the bus. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Cool. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Wipers. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. Babies. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 all day long. Brilliant. Wow, good going on the bus. Now we're going to try something else. We're going to go on our boats. So if you've got a brother or a sister or a mummy or a daddy or a grandma or grandpa or anybody that's with you now, go and grab them and we can sing this together. Are you ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. <laughs> row, row, row your boat. Gently down the river, if you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Brilliant, you're doing so well. Now this run is one of my favourites. Have you got a little turtle? Could you find a little turtle? We'll see if he can learn to swim. Okay. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to teach him how to swim. And when I put him in there, he ate up all the soap. 
And now he's got a tummy ache and bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop! Well done. Fabulous. And now we're going to say goodbye. Now, what's our favourite goodbye song? That's right, it's Hot Little Bunnies. So Maisie's going to be our little bunny today. <laughs> So we won't go to sleep. <clears throat> See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we go and wake them with a merry tune? They're so still, are they ill? Wake, wake up, up bunnies! Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, 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 hop. Did I hear again? Do you think we need to do it again? <coughs> well done, Maisie. <coughs> See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we go and wake them with a merry tune? They're so still, are they ill? Wake, wake up, bunnies! Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, 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 hop. Well, thank you for joining in for our singing and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.